Okay, here's another good demonstration on law of conservation of momentum. Uh, this one is known as the ballistic pendulum. It might be worth it for you to just uh, Google that phrase, ballistic pendulum, and see what other uh, videos or descriptions you can find online. So the ballistic pendulum is an example of a perfectly inelastic collision, the type of collision in which the objects stick together and become one. So, um, well, this is also a bit of a study in energy as well as momentum. There's a hole in this marble and it allows it to fit on here. And then this is a pretty stiff spring. It's got a large K value. So I gotta put some <clears throat> effort into it. And now there's a decent amount of elastic potential energy stored. I'll take this off for a moment. But when I squeeze the trigger, all of that elastic potential energy is released. If the ball were on there, it would have gained an equivalent amount of kinetic energy. Well, maybe not as much kinetic energy as the energy that was in the spring if there are any non-conservative forces like friction that rub against this as it uh, decompresses. Okay, so we know where this object's gonna get its initial velocity because of the kinetic energy that results from the loss of potential energy in the spring. So if I take this part of it, and this is why we call it the ballistic pendulum, here's the pendulum part of it. And that object is designed uh, so that it catches the ball. So let's see if I got it set up right. Every now and then I shoot it and it doesn't catch and it falls out and then it's an inelastic collision as opposed to a perfectly inelastic collision. Here goes. Perfect, okay. Caught the ball, rotated, there's a ratchet mechanism and it swings to a particular height. So you're gonna find some uh, problems either in your homework or AP problems or some other form that are examples of this ballistic pendulum that ask you to do something like this. By determining the angle that it swung to, figure out first of all how high it went. And then knowing the way energy is conserved from this point to this point, you could figure out what the final speed was after the collision. And then you can compare the momentum in the system before the collision to after the collision to see if momentum is conserved. Uh, Energy is most certainly not conserved. The process in which the object catches the ball involves uh, some gripping, some, some friction, some non-conservative force as this ball enters into the uh, device that catches it. So there's a loss of mechanical energy in the collision process. But once the collision's over and it begins to swing, from there on, air resistance is not a significant non-conservative force. So once the collision's complete and it starts to swing up, from there to there, energy is conserved. And I think from here, the spring into the ball, energy is mostly conserved. It's just in that act of colliding that mechanical energy is wasted away.